If you're struggling to figure out what's wrong with your code, this trick will help you a lot. Let's start with the example again that our code is compiling and running fine, but for some reason it's just not taking trades. We can use the print function to see what all our variables are at the time of trade execution, and maybe it will give us a clue as to what's wrong. This is how you use print. The parameter you need to input is a string, so you write whatever you want plus your variable. Why do we need this double two string here? Because print accepts only a string, meaning words in a sentence, and our variable is a number. So we have to do a type conversion from number to a string in order for it to work. So let's run that. And here the trade was supposed to happen, but it didn't. So we go to the journal and we see that our program tried repeatedly to take the trade, but it failed due to an invalid stop loss. Now we can inspect the output from our print function. The ask price looks correct, but stop loss and take profit are the same price as the ask. There's definitely something wrong there. Stop loss should be 200 points lower and take profit should be 400 points higher. So you know what the actual error was this time? In an earlier optimization test in the strategy tester, I had set the inputs of stop loss and take profit both to zero. MetaTrader kept these settings and was overriding my input variables when I tried to run the code. So we'll just fix that, we'll run it again. Now we're taking trades again and stop loss is 200 points less than ask as it should be and take profit is 400 points more. And we're back to making money.